For Diverse Reasons by Charles Battelle Loomis I sailed from England last summer on the mid-ocean line. I shall call the steamer the bathtub. The fare to New York was sixty dollars for an inside berth in an inside room, and that was the kind of room that I selected. The passengers were sociable, amiable, and interesting, and I formed many agreeable ocean friendships, but all seemed lacking in one quality. For instance, I approached a sporty-looking man with a red necktie and a diamond in his shirt bosom. He was leaning over the rail, gazing at the last bit of green that we should see for eleven days. I began a conversation with that confidence that he would reply pleasantly which strangers on a steamer always have, nor is that confidence ever abused. Easy motion, isn't it? You come over on this line? No, I came over on the first Bismarck, but I had a touch of the gout in Paris, and the doctors recommended a slow ocean voyage, and so I chose this line. It's the slowest ever. I was too polite to wink at him, and he immediately turned the conversation into other channels. Later in the day I met a lady from Boston. It is, perhaps, unnecessary to say that I was introduced to this lady, also to every Bostonian on board. "'Easy motion, isn't it?' said I, as I drew my chair into the shadow of one of the boats. "'Yes,' said the Boston lady. "'The motion is easy, as you say, but I prefer a faster boat myself. We were coming home on the St. Louis, but Mr. Adams was cabled to come home at once, and this was the only line that we could secure passage on at such short notice.' "'You are very lucky,' said I, mentally figuring that if they had taken the St. Louis they would have reached home two days sooner than the bathtub would dock it. "'Well, I don't know as we can call it lucky. The table is so inferior, at least to Back Bay cooking.' I think it was on the same day that I fell into conversation with a well-put-up young man of New York. I fell into it in my usual way by saying, Nice easy motion, isn't it? We were standing in the bow watching a school of porpoises out for their noon recess. You may call it easy, but I call it blamed hard. Ten days more of it. I don't see why I was foolish enough to give up my passage on the Oceanic. But a chap in London told me that if I wanted an absolutely novel experience, I'd better take one of these tubs. Yes, said I, and they have the advantage of being cheap. Table not so bad, either. Well, the cheapness didn't appeal to me. In fact, I tried to get a whole stateroom for two hundred and forty dollars, so that I'd have plenty of room to myself, don't you know? but the confounded boat was so crowded that I could only get an inside berth, lower one at that. If I hadn't foolishly cabled my return home to the governor, I'd have waited and taken a cunarder. I met a southern woman that same day in the ladies' saloon. We were both writing letters, and neither one of us could think of a thing to say, so I looked up and smiled and uttered my formula. Easy motion, isn't it? Oh, yes. I wish it would roll a little. It is so monotonous. They say the sister steamer, the wash tub, is much more of a roller. Fine line, though, isn't it? Do you think so? I've always been accustomed to take the white star line, but my husband's brother's cousin, whom we met at Bingham, told us if we wanted to be perfectly comfortable, we'd better take a mid-ocean liner. Cheaper, too, said I, wickedly. She colored and went on. I really don't know about that part of it. 
My husband always attends to the buying of tickets. I had heard that there was a stowaway who had been discovered the third day out. I went to him. He was peeling potatoes in a dismal room off the kitchen. Hello, my boy, said I. That's right, I see you're helpful. I used to do that for my mother when I was a boy. Easy motion, isn't it? Did you expect to come by this line? He was flattered at not being taken for one of the crew. No, I wanted to take the Bremen, but she was burned at Hoboken, so I came on this. It's kind of fun to peel potatoes. The skins slip off so easy. With a sad heart, I left this insincere young man peeling potatoes and went up on the upper deck. There I saw a dignified and a handsome old gentleman, the best-dressed man on board, reading Aristophanes in the original. He had spoken to no one, and people thought him offish. I wondered what tale he would give me, and I stopped alongside of him, and when he looked up I said, Easy motion, isn't it? Yes, luckily for me it is. I'm a poor sailor, but easy or not, easy I had to come by this line, as I practically went broke in London and just had enough to buy a passage by this cheap line. I'll have to touch the friends who come to meet me for the money to tip the stewards. I don't rave over the table, and I know lots of ways in which the service could be improved, but I'm practically broke. And that's why I'm here, so I don't complain. Here he cast a comprehensive glance at such of the passengers as were in sight. Yes, I'm broke, and I fancy we're all in the same boat. Shake, said I. End of For Diverse Reasons